What's up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. Today there is quite a bit that I would like to get accomplished. Um, and I'm not sure exactly where to start or how to go about doing this exactly, so I might be skipping around quite a bit. But in the end, hopefully it all makes sense. I'm going to be planting a lot of grass today, so I need to go buy a bunch of grass. Um, and then building a coral basically for my animals so that I can keep them outside. Also, uh, I need to give a blue rock and a moonlight stone out to Saibara and Rick, respectively. And um, there's a couple recipes that I am going to try and get today as well. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and just take care of everything. Actually, I think I have some seeds I want to plant. Yes. Let's switch this out with that this out with this for now so I'm gonna go plant those in my greenhouse water them take care of the animals and everything and so I'll be I'll be back here in just a bit okay so in here luckily I have saved a blue rock and a moonlight stone I'm gonna go hand those out right now and buy some grass seeds Saibara might actually have a few things I want to buy yeah, he's got an ocarina there too. Okay, see how um, see how this vase here is like, I don't know, kind of like a reddish color. Well, you come and you give him the blue rock, you, and then all of a sudden it turns blue out of nowhere. It's two thousand as well, so let's buy that. That's a decoration for our house. Let's also buy this ocarina as well. Okay, let's head over here into Rick's shop. He's not open yet. Come on, Rick. Come on, Rick. There we go. Alright, let's head in here. Okay, I don't really care about whether or not you want to get married. Give him the Moonlight Stone, and eventually... Uh, during the summer Firefly Festival, he will build a lamp. So, pretty sweet. Now I'm going to go buy some grass seeds, and I'll see you guys back on the farm. Alright, I'm back here on the farm. I'm going to start planting grass here in these uh, spots that I've previously set up. I think I bought 12 of them all together, so this should... Fill up a couple more spots after this. Here. And here. Okay, so that's all the grass I can afford right now. Um, I'm actually going to go to the bar real fast, but the great thing about grass is that you don't have to water it. It uh, grows on its own, so that's really cool. Okay, so we're here at the bar. We need to give... Uh, I think his name is either Zach or Greg, I can't remember. This guy right here. We need to give him a tomato. And he gives us a recipe. It, the easy tomato soup recipe. Excellent. So I'm not sure how many recipes I have left to get. But we're getting close. That much I do know. Okay, so... Just so that you know, um, if we're going to start keeping our cows outside, which I would like to do soon, i got to wait for the grass to grow all the way up first. And by the way, let me show you this too. Um, if you're going to let your animals outside, cows, chickens, whatever, you need, to, you need to fence off the area basically that they're going to be in. So what you do is you come over here to your lumber. And I'm obviously not going to be able to do all of this tonight, but... Stop running away, horse. But you're going to want to come and basically fence off the area like this. So I'll do that tomorrow. I'm going to work on that pretty much all day tomorrow. Right now, let's go to bed. Ah, here's the, the blue vase I just bought from Saibara today. Nice little decoration there. Um... Let's see how many recipes I've got at this point now. 
Okay, so we filled all the first two pages there. And there's just one more to get here. I'm not sure what it is. And then I might have all the recipes. I'm going to look it up just to make sure, but in any, in any case, we're getting very close to having all the recipes, so that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and rest up for the night. No. Why is it so hard to get around you to get to the diary? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish basically fencing off that area over there as well as taking care of everybody, everything else on the farm, but I probably won't be leaving the farm today to do much, so this might end up being a pretty short... Well, I, I might not show very much from this day because most of it's going to be just fencing off that area where the grass is at. I might buy some more grass seeds if I have time and then plot even some more grass. So, Anyways, that's what I'm going to do. See ya. Okay, um, I do want to do one thing real fast before I run out of time today. I had a strawberry uh, harvest, so I want to make sure that I give a strawberry to Stu. Stu should be here in class. This one is Stu here, the black hair. And he will give me a recipe. Get the strawberry dog recipe. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to head back to the farm and finish fencing off my grass area, so here I go. Okay, so I'm getting some progress done. This takes a really long time. I probably made my area a little bit too big, uh, the grass area there. Next year, because all the grass will die in the winter again, I'll probably make a much smaller coral, because uh, this, this is just too big takes too long and I think that too much space of my farm is being taken up by these fence posts really so anyways this is, a f this is as far as I've gotten right now so I'm just gonna head inside for the night and we'll start again tomorrow All right, same thing today as yesterday. Uh, keep fencing off that grass area. Maybe some of it has sprouted by now, that'd be great. Um, and one thing, if you do have time to do it, you need to take an egg if Ellie doesn't crate them all. Okay, good. You need to take an egg to the goddess and keep wishing for, um, you need to keep wishing for weather so that it will be nice and sunny every day because your fence will take damage from rain. And also, your animals don't like rain. They don't like to be out in the rain. So on any day that it's going to rain, actually, let's take a look at this. Okay, it's going to be sunny tomorrow. On any day that it's going to rain, you'll have to take your animals inside. And that's just a big pain in the butt. It takes forever and wastes a lot of time. So wish for weather as often as possible from here on out. All right, I'm getting really close to being done with this fence. I think just three more. And I'm there. It shall be complete. Make sure I put it in the right place. Don't cover up any of the grass seeds there. Okay, so here's my new fence. I've uh, set it up all the way around the perimeter there. We're good to go. I've got a new music box as well, so that's sweet. And um, it's real late. She was just standing out there. I come in and she's already in bed. Anyway, I've taken care of the fence now, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, what I will be doing now at this point is digging on every single plot one by one all the way around my farm basically so that I can uh, find the power nut because I really need to do that um, so yeah that's gonna be my next objective is to find that power nut that's the next thing I'm gonna do so let's get started so let's run in there Wait a second, what's happening here? Is she, is she moving? What's... what's going on? Oh 
don't know. No, not Grandma. Yeah, just so you know, if you you can save her basically so that she doesn't die, but the only way to do that is to not talk to her ever in the whole game. Just never ever speak to her. Don't befriend her at all, and she won't die. However, you can't get the party picture if you don't become friends with everyone in the town. So you kind of have to. So she's gonna be sad for a long time now. Not much we can do about it. We can start giving uh, flowers away. Ah, there's a new guy in town. Entomologist. Um, he's looking for a butterfly. Keep that in mind. He's looking for a legendary butterfly. Just uh, remember that for later. Okay, I need to plant some more flowers here. It's taking a little longer because of the fact that I am digging one space at a time. Because I really want to find that power berry. So I plant some more there, plant some more there. Still have a few more left. It's tedious, it sucks. But it'll be worth it once I'm done. I don't even know how many more of these these flower seeds I have, so let's go ahead and let's figure that out first. I have at least one more after that. Two, three, oops, three. Let's just go ahead and finish this out. It'd be really cool if I could find a power berry. Oh my goodness, that'd be awesome. Power nut, whatever they're called, I don't know. I used to call them power berries as a kid. They look more like berries than nuts to me. Ellie's already in bed. Is it really that late? Dang. All right. Cool. All right, tomorrow I'm going to need to put my chickens outside, I think, so... We don't have to worry about chicken feed anymore. Okay, let's uh, see how you're doing. She's gonna say this every day for a while. It's really gonna take her quite a bit of time to get better. Uh, I have some milk for you. Okay. Check out my... Uh, Oh, we got some harvest today. Nice. This is my greenhouse now. I'm basically just going to be growing tomatoes and corn uh, during these months. When strawberries become available again, I'll do that as well. So let's go ahead and water all this stuff, sell my harvests, and then continue onward. All right, time to do some more digging here. Let's see if we can... Find a power nut. I had no idea I had something. Okay, first thing I'm, I'm actually going to do this first, since this is taking so long. I'm going to come let my chickens outside. First of all, did she feed them today? She did. Oh, so I got eggs to pick up. So here's what you can do. You can take your chickens outside, and they'll find their own food. You no longer have to feed them. So that's pretty awesome. Now you need to make sure that your chickens are in an enclosed area, otherwise uh, wolves will come out and eat them. And that's not, that's not good. You don't want that to happen. The grass isn't quite long enough yet to take uh, my other animals out there, uh, like my sheep and my cow, but as soon as it grows a little bit longer, I'll be able to put them out there as well. And then if you keep wishing for... Uh, weather every day, and you can make it sunny every day, then you never really need to worry about taking them back inside. So that's pretty cool, too. Let's put it right... There we go. wonder if I can hop a fence with a chicken in my hands. I'll have to figure that out for this last one here. It'd be nice if I could. Yes. 
Okay, move out of the way. There we go, so the chickens are now outside. I don't have to worry about uh, feeding them anymore. And you just go out there into the coral and you can get the eggs from there from now on. Got it. All right, let's head inside. I'm gonna do one more day just because I'm really anxious to get everything set up and get back to kind of a normal schedule where I'm back to, first of all, is it gonna rain? Okay, good. All right, good. Okay, let's go ahead and do one more day here. Uh, kind of the same sort of thing. Just dig, take care of everything on the farm and plant as many of those flowers as you can. So here I go. Okay, while I was away, my uh, my scythe leveled up to the gold, so now my axe is the only one left, and I'm really, really, really surprised that that hasn't leveled up yet either. I'm beginning to wonder if there's some kind of bug plaguing me right now. All my chickens are uh, doing fine right now out there. I don't have to feed them anymore, which is really amazing, because chicken feed is really expensive. Well, they, you know, especially when I've been having to buy it for six chickens, just gets really, really, really expensive. So now that I won't have to worry about that anymore, that's pretty awesome. Do you know what? I'm starting to think you might have to water flowers. I thought they would just kind of spring up the same way as, um... Dang it, I totally didn't even realize that. Sorry, guys, that's my bad. You have to water flowers. Good thing I caught that now. You have to water them the same as um, well, any other plant in the game, for that matter. That's really annoying. It's a lot of flowers. I'm going to have to water every day. I really want to find the power nut, like, really bad. It ends up being this one underneath this uh, weed. It's going to make me pretty mad. Wow, that's ridiculous. Alright, let's head inside. Okay, this is where I'm going to call the episode for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, next time, I'm going to start focusing on Popery again, try to get her up to a pink heart. And um, then just really and truly becoming friends with everybody in the town. That's what I need to start doing is just giving gifts out to as many people as possible, becoming friends with as many people as I can. And now that the farm is, you know, in good shape, it's looking good, uh, things are really going to start rolling from here. So until next time, you guys have a good one. See you later.